Hey, everybody. Welcome to my craft room tonight. Oh, I'm so excited to be stamping with you. So let me just give you a brief view of what we're doing tonight. I have a really fun card for you. So let me make sure that I'm, <clears throat> excuse me, streaming in my Facebook group and get it shared or Facebook page, get it shared over to my group while you look at the card. I use the playing in the rain bundle and the rain or shine designer paper to create this card. Oh, there we are. Hello, everybody. All right. So, hi, <laughs> I'm, I'm back. So I do have to apologize right up front. I'm still not 100% and I've got this cough now. I have cold or a cough drop in my mouth. I have another one on hand and lots of water. And I'm hoping that coughing doesn't take over. Cross your fingers. It does seem like a long time, Marsha. Hi, Janet, Marsha, Norman. Thanks, Norman. Norman, I'm changing your name. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hi, Norma. All right. So this card that we're going to do tonight Oh, thanks, Marsha. I'm not feeling amazing, I'll tell you, but we'll carry on. Oh, hi, Kathy. Uh, well, you know, it is what it is. It's getting better, slowly but surely, and I've still got five and a half weeks till we leave for England, so I should be good to go by then. Hi, Yvonne. Yes, I have to get better for my trip. I don't know what I'll do. Anyways, so this card, I did it with my Sunshine Club stamp crafts before I went away up north to visit the grandchildren. And they really enjoyed doing it. So it uses the Playing in the Rain bundle. This little Easter bunny, okay, he's an Easter bunny because Easter's coming up. Hi, Connie. He is just so adorable. And doesn't he look like he's having fun in that puddle? When I did a card with him, was it last Thursday? And I called it a pond. Well, you know, a pond is just a really big puddle, right? Thanks, Marsha. <clears throat> hey, Wendy. Okay, so. um, He looks like he's playing, having fun in the puddle. And it reminds me of our oldest grandson, James, when he was little, he used to love playing in the puddles. And we used to take long walks um, with our rain boots and our, he would have one of those muddy buddy waterproof things. And we'd go out and we'd jump in all the puddles. You know, having a grandchild Gives you permission to have your second childhood, and I enjoyed it so much. Then, of course, we kept it up with the other grandchildren as well. Hey, Holly. And Debbie and Carmen. Oh, look at everybody coming. Good. Okay. So, let me get my mouse out of the way here. Oh, I just realized I didn't get my adhesive out, and I've dropped my Kleenex. Uh-oh. Don't want to drop my Kleenex, because that I'm going to need for sure. So tonight, I'm not going to use the Playing in the Rain bundle. I want to use the Rhino Ready bundle. So this is one of the online exclusives that is available now. And I got all three Rhinos out. And we'll choose which one we want to go on the front. And then, of course, it has coordinating dies. And the trees in this die, let me tell you how fun they are. And I'm going to be using the a circle dies. The size is going to depend on how big I need for the sentiment. The background on this one, I used one of the basics embossing folder. That's a, a, one of the online exclusives as well. And I, I used the, say, I put my own names on them because I couldn't call all three of them basics, right? So I used the basics dots one for the mother card. But there's also a floral. Can you see it? I don't know. It's kind of hard. There you go. Which kind of looks like a starfish. So you could use that as a background for a C card as well. 
And I'm going to use the crosshatch ones. Now, Marsha is asking if the rhino will be in the new catalog. No, it will not. The rhino, anything that is called an online exclusive will only be available to look at online. So it's not going to be published in any publication, which is why they call it an online exclusive. So you have to look online or um, if your demonstrator has a flyer. I'm going to use Festive Pearls and one of the Dragonfly um, trinkets as well, because look at that. Isn't that cute? We're going to use that. You're welcome. And then we're going to make um, a custom envelope because, you know, what's the date today? We only have 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, 35 days and the catalogs, both of them, retire and all the designer paper is going to retire. So I'm going to have to start using it up real fast. So let's make an envelope as well. So I have a balmy blue card base that is eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. And then I have another piece of balmy blue that is five and a half by four and a quarter. So it is the full size of the card front. <coughs> Excuse me. When I want to do a full embossed front, I don't ever emboss the card base because it tends to make it quite weak, so I always add an extra piece on top. So we're going to emboss that. And then five and a quarter by four for the inside. And this is what I did on the inside. And then there's the envelope for the original one. Hi, Nancy. Two pieces of designer paper. Now, it doesn't matter what designer paper you use. This happens to be dandy design designer paper three by four and i have two pieces the same size and then i have a some basic white to do the stamping and die cutting and stuff so don't let me forget i have the share it saturday draw to do tonight and i do want to show you some cards that i received now i don't remember whether i shared this one or not this one is from valerie look at that isn't that cool I love dragonflies. Dragonflies are some of my favorite things. And then I got this one. Oh, also from Valerie. Valerie likes windows. And I love this. So she's got designer paper in the background and then a tree die cut. And she's put Wink Estella on the tree so it's shiny. And then a gorgeous bow on there. And then I got one from from janet oh hi janet i was just going to show your card so janet got a little sneaky so she used the grassy grove dies this is the die and then there's the deer and you open it up this way and then there's another layer under there that's exactly the same as the top layer and she put the deer in exactly the same place so you can't see them when you've got it closed but you open it and there's a whole other layer with them in there and then are you ready the pièce de résistance <clears throat> that's my photograph from Tofino this year in Tofino you could see the snow but that was probably the very first night the sunset on the very first night isn't that amazing it says thank you and then it says enjoy your day and then it opens up and then she when she cut off the photograph to use on the front she used a piece on the back isn't that amazing hi carolyn yes janet is very very talented she's been making cards for a very long time and she could teach me a thing or two i'll tell you okay Let's get this embossed in our crosshatch embossing folder. And I realized, although I did get um, my machine out, I didn't get my embossing. So I have to get that. Good thing my craft room is the size of this. It's very small, so it doesn't take me long to grab it. 
So if you are watching this on the replay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you are enjoying it. Come on. Go. Go. Oh. There we go. <clears throat> if you are enjoying my video, I would love it if you would comment, hit the emojis, share it because it's happening in my um, my public page so you can share it. If you're watching on YouTube, I would love it if you would um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay. So there's the, um, this is what the cross hatch embossing folder looks like. I really like this one. It's kind of subtle. And then if you flip it over, it's, it's kind of different on the other side too. So let's use the, let's use the negative side instead of the positive side. We'll put this right onto our card base. And because it's embossed, I'm going to put a couple of extra rows of adhesive on there just because I want it to lay down flat. It is an amazing card. I agree. And as, now that I've shared it with everybody, I'm going to stick it out in my studio so everybody can enjoy it when they come to my classes. Okay, so there we go. Now we have our two pieces of designer paper, and I'm going to put them on at a jaunty angle because you all know how much I like a jaunty angle. Okay, let's choose which side of the of the embossing paper or Where's my brain tonight? Which side of the design this designer paper do you want me to use? The stars side or the tartan side? The stars side or the tartan side? Shoot me a message in the comments and tell me which side we should use. And then we'll choose which side on the other one to use. And while you're doing that, I know what our sentiment is going to be, so I'm going to stamp that. <coughs> <coughs> oh, they're coming in hot and fast. Star, tartan and stars, stars and tartan. See, tartan, star, tartan, star, star, tartan. Okay, we're, we are tied. Oh, more tartans than stars now. So it looks like we're going to be using the tartan side. I like this sentiment on here. I hope your birthday is wild. It's perfect. <laughs> okay, we're going to use the tartan side. So this one, <clears throat> pardon me, do you want to use the line side? Hi, Dimity. Or do you want to use the pattern side? So this, I don't know how I can, you can't really see that there. It's got a pattern on one side and it's got a lines on the other side. So comment below, do you want the lines or do you want the pattern? And while you do that, <clears throat> I'm going to cut out my sentiment with one of the circles. So let's see if this circle is big enough. Yes, it is. There we are. Oh, we got one lines and four patterns. Anybody else want to weigh in? Because right now, pattern is ahead. Okay, I'm just going to give this a quick cut with my very cracked cutting plate because I just realized when I went live that I haven't replaced it yet. All right. So do your plates ever do this? Look, can you see that? Can you see the, the break in it? I don't know. I must have really stressed it out. And it decided it was going to break the other day. And it's really separated. But I'm going to order a, a bunch of them because when, um, when the new catalog comes out, there will be price increases, people. So if you got stuff like that that you want to order... I suggest you get it before the 2nd of May, which is when the new catalog goes live and the new pricing will be in effect. Okay, everybody wants the pattern. So let's get the tartan down. 
So I've got a couple of days and one spot left in my Irresistible Blooms class. If anybody is interested, you can get a hold of me or fill out the, the Google form. That registration ends for that on the 1st of April. And then my, so that's for the April class. And then the Mar the May class is going to be the rhinos, the rhino ready, the ones that we're using tonight. <clears throat> okay. Make sure I have it on here, right? Because, you know, sometimes I have it upside down. There we go. Now. We have to decide which rhino we want to put on the front. The size of the designer paper, Wendy, is three by four. So do you want rhino one, two, or three? Running, sitting, or looking? One, two, or three? I think he is so cute. And then whichever one you don't choose, I will put on the inside. Well, one of them I'll put on the inside. One, oh, three. Got two for one and one for three and one for two, two for three, one, a three. It looks like three is winning. Love the bird. I do too. I love the bird. But you know, there is a bird. We could We could try to put a bird on top of each one. Oh, okay. I have to go back. I have to go back because I've lost count. Okay. One, one, three, one, two, three, one, three, one, two, two. Looks like one is ahead. So number one is going on the front. I took them out already. They're not in there. Why am I in there looking? Okay. Let's do this, dude. I love the bluebird or the bird on there. Do you think he's a bluebird of happiness? So did you guys do anything exciting on the weekend? I did not, but I had fun in my craft room. I was prepping and stamping and creating and getting ready for the new catalog because there's so much stuff is going to retire. Okay, I'm gonna stamp. I'm gonna stamp some grass. We'll put a couple of grasses on there. I'll stamp two of them. One, two. There we go. All right. Oh, cooked a turkey dinner, Yvonne. Wow, good for you. Lucky family. Abby and I stayed pretty close to home. I'm I really want to get rid of this cloth thing that's happening. So I made sure I stayed home. But, you know, I was going to get lots of sleep. Yeah. And Saturday night, I usually spend Saturday night with hubby watching TV. And, but he goes to bed a lot earlier than I do. So when he goes to bed, I come in my craft room. And I was happily playing around and prepping the class. And I looked at the time and it was quarter to two in the morning. So I very quickly went to bed. Nancy's been reorganizing paperwork for the last couple of years. And now it's all in binders. I got, she got rid of things she had looked at. Wow, I bet that feels awesome, Nancy. I love doing that. Organization is my middle name. And sometimes organization just means turfing, you know? If I haven't looked at it for a year, it's out. And if it's something Stampin' Up! related, and I know that I'm not going to use it for grandchildren or something, and if I haven't used it in... A year since it retired, out it goes. Just don't have the room for everything anymore. All right. 
So we have a sentiment, and we have a rhinoceros, a rhinoceros, and we have two grasses. Put that over there. Now, do we want to put a tree on here? I'm thinking maybe we should add a tree. So we're going to have a running rhinoceros, and we're going to have some grass. Uh, we can put a grass behind him, like that, and a grass over here, and then the rhinoceros running through. Let's put this here, like that. Now, there is this really cool tree. We could put a tree, like that, and then put the sentiment up there. Tree, yes or no? Well, I go and get, um, I think, soft suede for the the tree trunk and maybe parakeet part. Soft suede and parakeet party. Yes to the tree. Oh, everybody likes the tree idea. Me too. It is an amazing tree. And just giving you a tip, if you're going to use these trees, use the use the um, adhesive sheet. Let me tell you, it makes life so much easier. It's got a piece here that's approximately the right size. Stick it on there, and I will cut the tree out and aligning it up. There we go. <laughs> I love trees, Nancy. And this one is really super cute. There's two of them. There's a big one and there's a little one, and you can layer them. Um, you could put. The big tree and then you can put the little tree going out of it because if you look back in um pictures from africa it looks like the trees are layered yvonne didn't you go on a trip to africa or was that egypt i can't really remember but i know you did one or maybe you did two did you do africa too I'd love to go to Africa, but the heat scares me. Don't forget, if you're enjoying this video, please hit those emojis, share it with your friends. And if you're watching in the replay on my YouTube channel, subscribe, please. That helps me immensely if you do that. Because every time you hit that emoji, Facebook says, oh, that's that has got content of value that everybody should see and it pushes it out to more people all right here we go tree okay so what do you think of this layout put a grass that way and a grass that way and then the rhino in the middle then we'll have the tree and behind the grass, there. Yes, South Africa and Egypt. Oh, lucky you. What do you think? Yes, I like it. Okay, let's do some coloring. We have to get, I have um, Parakeet Party. So, the, on Wednesday, the retiring list is coming out, excuse me, <coughs> for both catalogs. And you know that anything that has the retiring in colors in it is going to go. Papers, ribbons, embellishments, ink pads, reinkers, all of that stuff is going. There are retiring tools. And we're getting a color refresh, which means that there will be a whole bunch of retiring colors and some brand new ones. 
So when you see that retiring list come out, please don't panic. It doesn't mean the entire catalog is retiring. It just means that if, say, soft succulent retires, then the all of the in-color, what are they called? In-color opal rounds. <coughs> Excuse me. Opal rounds, all of the ribbons that have soft succulent, all the designer papers, all of that stuff for each color. So with five retiring in colors, there is going to be at least 10, 15, or 20 products just with that color. So don't panic. And we know that Balmy Blue Lost Lagoon and um, Pretty Peacock are coming back. And I heard that Lemon Lime Twist is coming back as well. So I'm looking forward to that because I love new colors. Okay, I'm using Crumb Cake tonight to color in the rhinoceros. So you need to tell me what color should I make that bird? Should I make him balmy blue like the color of the card? Now don't forget when you're using these stamping blends to make sure you don't get the coloring lines, you wanna put your color on in a circular motion so that you get a good base. Because you can see, I'll show you, just let me do one. One pass with my stamp and blends like this. You see that? You can see you can see um, the coloring marks, but if you go over top of that again, they disappear. So it's just a matter of getting enough color. And I think my crumb cake is dying. My other one. <laughs> oh, I can't find it. Where is it? Uh oh. Uh oh. Apparently, I don't have another one. Holy moly! Apparently, I didn't order another crumb cake. So we'll just have to make do with this. Ah, uh, Dimity, Did, have you been to Africa? You live, you live in Australia, so that might be closer than we are to Africa. But I would, I love the trees. I love watching videos of all the animals. And I would love to go there. But like I said, the heat scares me because I'm not a heat person. Ted's cousin went there and she had an amazing time. I can't believe this is running out and I don't have another one. Let's see if there's any in the other side. That tip, I don't like it for doing small areas. So it doesn't work very well for that. For me, anyways. I know a lot of people like that tip. Okay, <clears throat> there we are. We got the got the light done. Now I'm going to go in with the, the dark. I'm going to do the ears and the tail. Now you can get really carried away and do a lot of blending and stuff. And I would accept for the fact that... Um, my marker is running out, so I'm going to have to reorder this. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I bet it was. Yvonne said seeing animals was the best part. Okay, what color do you want my, the bird to be? Blue? Do we have the a balmy blue, a dark balmy blue bird?
Oh, it is a long way for you too. Dimity says the heat is not bad. Hmm. Yvonne, did you find the heat was bad? I guess you just don't go in the summer, right? Or is the heat the same all year round? There we go. Oh, that's so cute. Let's just give it a green beak because I have the color out. There we go. Now, I didn't do the toenails. Just use the dark on the toenails. And then we got all our coloring done. I'll put one on the inside, but I won't color it. Because, you know, we could be here all night. Okay. <clears throat> Bring the card back in. Oh, January. <coughs> Sorry. Hang on. Take a drink. Blow my nose. One moment, please. <coughs> Oh my gosh, I hope this goes away real soon. Well, I know hubby would not go to Africa with me, so I'd have to find somebody else. Maybe we need to get a group together, eh? And do a group trip in Africa. Would you go again, Yvonne, if you had the chance? I know Dimity said she would. All okay. right. Get our, get our grass in there. Put one a little crooked there. That's when I'll put it straight. Oh, it's not humid? Hmm. August and September. Oh, that's different. Maybe it's the same all year round. My... Stamp and seal is just about out, so it's being uh, obstinate. All right, put this right there. Now, we'll just tuck our tree trunk in behind the grass. Right, right there. See how easy it is when you put adhesive sheets? All right, get some glue on. Oh, maybe we need to pop this up. I changed my mind. Let's take the glue off of there and we'll use dimensionals. Put it up on dimensionals. All right. Gone quiet. Mm -mm. So Thursday, in my VIP group, is Thursday Thoughts. And that's where I do unfolds cards that are a little bit more tricky and i always provide the the measurements ahead of time so you can craft with me or you can craft along afterwards with the replay or what catch it on my my youtube channel and we're doing mm. Another way to use up designer paper and show both sides. It's a really cool technique. I only had only have the one card done so far, but if I get a chance, I'm gonna do a couple more of them before. Um oops, don't want to go past the edge of that card. That would be troublesome. There we go. Yvonne recommends Africa to anyone, but it wouldn't go again because too many other places to see. Oh. oh, you're going to Spain and Morocco? Oh my God, how exciting. I would, I agree with you. There is a lot of places in the world to see rather than going back 
to a place multiple times. However, the one exception for me for that rule of not going back to a place because there's lots of other places to see is St. Martin. I would go there every year if I could because it is so amazing. Look at this guy, isn't he cute? I love fun folds too, Marcia. They are, they make my heart happy. All right, let's get my liners off here. And we'll pop this dude on the front. <laughs> Look at that card, isn't that adorable? Let's put some winky on him. The bird needs to be winky. And the horn, the ears, the tail. Because why not? And let's put some on the grass while we're there. Okay, so the front is done except for the embellishments. Put a dragonfly on there because it reminds me of my friend Linda. She loved dragonflies. And <clears throat> we'll put some some blue festive pearls. So I decided today there is super secret announcement coming next week from me. It's not a stamping up announcement. It's an, an announcement from me. And you have to be part of my VIP group to know, to be in the know. So I just put a, a glue dot on that wing and I'll get a glue dot for the other wing. There's one right there. So that's going to, all is going to be revealed on Tuesday, I think, next Tuesday. So if you're not already part of my VIP group, you may want to run over there and, and join us because come Tuesday, you're going to want to know what's going on in my world because there's something super exciting happening. Okay, dragonfly. And we'll put a couple of these on just because I can. And they're fun. One, two, three. Ooh, I haven't put the sentiment on yet. You haven't been to St. Martin? Oh, Yvonne, you need to go. We went in 2005. That was our very first hot and sunny vacation. And... um. There was a sale on at the time, and we wanted to go somewhere, but not being having gone anywhere, we had no idea. So we talked to our travel agent and said, where should we go? And she said, well, it just happens to be on sale. If you go to St. Martin, you can get all inclusive, and it was dirt cheap, and we had a whole entire week there. So we did. There we go. We stayed at Divi Little Bay, which is on the Dutch side. So half of the country is Dutch. The other half of the country is French. And they, they speak English, but one half speaks Dutch and the other half speaks French. And there's, there's a line, but there's no border. So when you, you can pop across whenever you want and do whatever you want. It is. I recommend it. If you get a chance to go, go. Okay, I'm getting ready to do the inside. Sitting or standing, which one do I put inside? And while you decide, so sitting or standing, I'm going to take my um, scoreboard and we're going to make an envelope. Aw, thanks, ladies. So, 
I'm scoring it at three quarters of an inch and three quarters of an inch. Then flip it four and a quarter and 10. And I'm using the big end of my stylus because that's for designer paper so that it, you don't rip it when you're while you're scoring it. Oh, we have three for sitting. Anybody else? Okay. <clears throat> Hold that over like that. Use my bone folder. There we go. One side. Oh, everybody wants a sitting one. That's nice because that's the one I wanted to do. <laughs> And I may have overruled you. No. I would have gone with the majority. Because you guys are usually spot on in your choices. Okay. Now, I'm just going to trim off those ends. Yvonne, are you going on with a tour in October or are you going over by like just a friends or family or something? I think it'd be kind of cool to do a tour for a country like that. When you don't, unless you've been there before and you know what's going on. All right, let's get this done. Get some adhesive on there. Then we'll stamp the inside. And then don't forget, I've got that draw to do yet. Don't let me forget to do that. You know, sometimes I forget. There we go. There's our envelope. And it's kind of got the same colors in it. So it's not too far off. Okay. Sitting. There we go. And give a good stamp. Hold it long enough to get the ink chance to transfer. Now, do you think I'm going to have enough ink to be able to do this? Can't believe I don't have another one. Maybe I've got one in another spot. I'll have to have a look. I'll just I'll go as far as I can. You'll get the idea. I guess you could always do a funky colored rhinoceros, like a funky colored hippo. Our um, our son Charlie has a hippopotamus tattoo on his the back of his calf, and it's orange. It's really cute. It's got these funky eyes. I had to turn it over and use the other side. And I'll just use it for the main parts. And hopefully I'll be able to go back. Finish off with the little one. So if you're catching this on the replay and you're watching on my YouTube channel, please subscribe. And thank you for joining me live. I do appreciate it. So this is dark crumb cake that I'm using. I looked up pictures of rhinoceroses and they range browns and grays, all different colors. So that's why I decided to use crumb cake tonight. Tour, twin travel, hosting it, oh, through Colette. Oh, that's cool, 20 Port Albertians, that's awesome. 
Dimity hired a car and traveled some plane to the falls. We did so much every day need to do middle to top next. Oh, so you didn't do the whole thing. Well, I guess you couldn't. That's a pretty big country. Uh-oh. Yep, just ran out. But I knew that was going to happen. I know I have a refill sitting here. So do you know that these refills, do you know these refills, you don't have to rip them. I don't know why they have these ripping things, but it's a Ziploc bag. And the reason they put them in the Ziploc bag is so it remains fresh, especially if you live in a country that has a lot of humidity because it can actually affect your, your um, adhesives. So that's why it's, wrapped up and sealed in those bags. Thanks, Debbie. Oh, Kathy, you're so kind. Thank you. Okay, there we are. There's our card. Uh, there's our envelope. There's the original card. There we go. How exciting is that? I had fun creating that card tonight. So do you want to see a sneaky peeky of another one of these cards? So I have I have three of the four cards done for my May Rhino Ready class. Thanks, Norma. Aw. Debbie, Yvonne, and Carolyn, thank you for your very kind comments. So here's another card I did with the rhinos. This one I did in Smoky Slate. I did the rhino. And this uses the, what's that called? Like an animal specialty designer paper. So the other side's got foil, and this side is just crumb, crumb cake and basic gray. Isn't that adorable? Not going to show you the other ones because those are for my class. All right. Thanks, Holly and Janet. That's very nice. So if you if you like what I do, I'd appreciate it if you would hit those emojis at the bottom and share. Just go to the bottom of my post and hit the share button and it will share it. And other people will get to enjoy it too. Okay, time for the draw. I'm gonna take this out. Oh, hang on. Take that out, hold this up. Put that going over there, and then I have to go over here, and I have to do this, that. There we go. Okay, so share it Saturday for March the 18th. I'm going to delete the heading and the line, and then I hit shuffle twice, and then we hit go. And the winner for share it Saturday for March the 18th is. Is oh Val, yay! Congratulations, Val. That's awesome. Okay, so a card and a little goodie will be going off to Valerie as soon as I get my as soon as I get my stuff together here and actually get on it. Yes, congratulations, Val. All right. Well, thanks so much, everybody, for hanging out with me. I appreciate you taking time out of your evening to join me. And if you watch the replay, thanks so much. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you're looking for a list of supplies for this card, it's in the description of the video on my YouTube channel. Um, have a wonderful week. I will I'm have a class on Wednesday. So those of you that are signed up for my On the Ocean class, I'll see you on Wednesday. And Thursday at 8 o'clock, I'll be live in my VIP group with a fun fold. And using up more of our lovely designer paper because, you know, it's going soon. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Have a wonderful week, and I'll see you soon in my craft room. Stampin' Smiles. Bye for now.